Hey guys, today we're crafting. I'm sure we'll be using glitter. Maybe we'll do some painting. Do these colors suit me? Hmm. Should we do some pop art? I don't know what we're gonna craft today, but let's get started. Let's make these cute flying ghosts. Remember our ghosty project? Well, my friend was like, I want one. Can you make me one? But I don't have the same materials because it was a trash to treasure. So I'm like, let me see what I could come up with. So let's go. So I'm going to make a base. So I don't do clay. We're just going to fill this with some hot glue. So we're heating up our glue gun and then we're going to make our base because that's where all the grains are going to be. This is our bottom part. Get out of our mold. This is what we got and we're just going to dab some brown paint. I did some other fun things because I didn't know what else I wanted to add to the base. Um, besides our mushroom, but I decided first I'm going to paint this base coat on of the brown things that I wanted brown. I use this Dollar Tree paint. It's fine for the hot glue. Once it dries, it might need a touch up here and there, and then we'll put our highlight colors on the items, and uh, yeah, then we'll glue on our stuff. To show you what I mean by highlights, I did this one. I used the same brown paint. So you could tell that it does end up darker. And just with a little shading, it's going to be the color of wood. So yeah, so that Dollar Tree brown paint is not bad. I use it for staining like real wood, just really light with a towel. I use it for a lot of things. It's... It's good. I like it. I had some florals from Michael's from last year that I used for a different project. So I took um, the stem because I always save these. And that's what we hot glued in the middle. And that's what we're going to build our ghosts on. Um, so yeah, super easy. Now, of course, you know it's not standing up yet because we're going to glue this to our base. Um... We're going to cover the little glue mess we made with some moss, and we will be all set. Okay, so I covered it with the moss. Now we have these half foam rounds, which we are going to glue right in on the top. And there we go, you see? Super easy! Now we're going to build our ghosties on top of them. Glued a piece to one of them. And then we're going to start hot gluing it and kind of shaping it to look more like a ghostie. A ghosties is a little different. So here she's a little pretty old maid with her little, uh, her little uh, scarf maybe. Or that's like her, what do you call it, collar to her little dress here. I don't know. Once we put her eyes, I'm sure she'll look cute. And uh, literally I just put a piece around and glued it and put the little bead on. So that's it. She looks like a little ghosty. And now we're going to move on to the other ones. And we have like some ghosty flowers. So we should be able to make them really cute, guys. Kind of glued the bottom to the leaf. And I feel that it needs a flower on the top of its head. So I just dug in with my scissor a little hole and put some hot glue and stick the flower in. Oh my god, I love that one. And then it's going to get little eyes and a mouth, and it should be adorable. Here are the finished ghosties. That's a grandma. That's the son, or daughter, or whatever you want it to be, but I think it's the son. That's dad. They're dressed up for Halloween, by the way, these ghosties. That's dad, and that's mom. <laughs> so yeah, I think think they're really adorable. They came out so cute. Um, you can decorate them however you like. Hey, ah, hackle. Um, but I kind of uh, went more not scary. She doesn't like skulls or anything like that. So I figured um, these are these are not scary. 
um, definitely not scary so I thought well no it's cute so yeah these are her ghosties and let's um, see the base is still drying but once that dries then we'll work on the base basically we're done I still a little wet because I put some highlights <clears throat> but uh, what do you think I just made the little guy there <laughs> And I put the stick with the acorn. Oh, look, I put a little tombstone there. These guys, I just put a bow for her. And I put a ghosty in back of his head. The other one stayed the same. So that was it I did to them. And then this... And I love this idea. It's so lightweight, but it won't fall over. Um, I think it came out great. So this is another idea if you don't have the other, of course, materials. I just wanted to give you another idea to do. And even this, you can just get a wood round and paint it from the Dollar Tree. You don't need uh, to do the glue gun. And you can put all charms um, we just used what we had, <laughs> but I think it came out adorable. These little tiny leaves came off of this thing. <laughs> I just cut a few leaves off and put the leaves on, put the leaves on the pumpkin. The only other thing I'm going to do to it is I'm painting the other pumpkins so they're still wet. And then I will put some pumpkins around here. Uh, and then we're going to be done. So cute. I just love them. And so, yeah, this is like my new favorite project. Although, these guys came out adorable too. Yeah, I liked like almost all the projects we did this year. Anyway, guys, I will show you the finished project. And then I will say goodnight to you. I just added the pumpkins. And I put some glow-in-the-dark glue. Uh-uh, glue. Glow in the dark orange paint from the Dollar Tree, so hopefully it will glow. So that's what I did. Just the pumpkies. And then I left these guys the same. Except for, of course, I put a ghosty on his back with his little glow face. But these guys I left the same. And that was it. And this is the smaller version of my big pot one. <laughs> So in case you don't want to put them outside and you want to put them inside. Now, of course, I did this out of hot glue. This is from the Dollar Tree. You could do this with this and just get a wood round and paint it and put moss on it. You don't have to do You could get a piece of cardboard. Well, you'd have to do a few so it's thicker so this stands. But you could do a few circles of cardboard, glue them together, paint them, put moss on them, put this in the middle. Super easy, um, and I love this one too. I think it's adorable. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. This is a big shout out to all our members. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you to everyone who supports our channel. We appreciate you. To become a member, just click the join button down below, and we'll see you soon.